Welcome to the very first episode of Cutthroat College Planning. My name is Hector Lopez and with me is Kayla Record. Hi. And we're here to bring you all of the things that people don't tell you about college, planning for college, and life after high school. Absolutely. We're stoked. We yes. have been planning this for a very long time. It's been close to a year that this con that this idea, this podcast has yes. been just floating around and planning and getting things ready and painting walls and <laughs> doing all sorts of fun things. Um, so we're yeah. we're pumped up and we're ready to go. We are. And if you're my colleagues and coworkers, um, you've been hearing about it for about five years. <laughs> so. Yeah, seriously. Um, this first episode is just going to be a bit of a, a sneak peek into what this podcast as a whole is going to be. Yes. I'm going to ask Kayla a whole bunch of questions on potential topics that we may get into. Perfect. On the pod. Some might be bonus episodes. Some things might be in the form of PDF content, maybe some things you can take away as a listener. Mm -hmm. and all sorts of other things. So Kayla, I think the first yeah. thing we should do is introduce who you are okay, and um, how we got to this, this point right now. Okay, yes. Well, as Hector mentioned, uh, my name is Kayla Record, and I am a working mother to a toddler and a wife to an amazing husband. My spare time, we love to be outside. We love to do activities, be part of our community, and there are times I'm just ch chasing around our toddler and trying to find things that get hidden on me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you're looking for things all over the house all the time. Yes. It is um, a lifelong scavenger hunt process. That sounds amazing, to be honest. It's a lot of fun. Sounds kind of amazing. Yes. Yeah, keeps me on my toes. Um, tell us why people should listen to you. Like, I know you have so much authority in this space. I know all of the the behind the scenes and what you've done and where your career yeah. has led you. Um, would, can you just tell some of the listeners, you know, a little bit about sure. that? Sure. I have over two decades of working, as I like to say, on the dark side or the other side, um, <laughs> which is actually side. known as higher ed. And I am someone that is obsessed and driven to help parents, to help students, and to just deliver my message to you guys about how the other side, it is a business, college is a business. And in the 20 something years between stories and students and conversations that I've had from colleagues to friends to acquaintances, all of the things that could be avoided if you just would have known about it. Yeah. So my passion and my dedication, especially through my career is getting across these messages to you guys, um, showing you what the other side is and mm -hmm. what they're thinking and how they operate mm -hmm. from a college perspective. And hopefully as a parent myself, giving you guys some guidance and some tools to be able to help prepare your student to set them up for success. Yeah. Um, I used to work at a college, so I have a little bit of the dark That's side. That's right, you too. did. I used to work in the financial aid department. Are we going to be going over anything that has to do with financial aid, financial planning, FAFSA, loans and grants, All of those. scholarships. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. We will be touching through a lot of that, including the very starting process of just getting the ID and application stuff. Mm. Um, and then we'll also dig into a little bit of life after school yeah. and how do you plan and how do you make sure that your kid is set up financially in the beginning through mm -hmm. scholarships and different opportunities available so that they are not living in your basement when they come back from college because they can't afford to pay any type of bill or, you know, their student loan debt. Yeah, I, so. I think that's important. Um, yes. The debt part is important. There's like yes. two things I feel like I hear people say all the time now is this is what my degree is mm -hmm. and this is how much debt I have the whole other part of the college and the experience and all that stuff no one talks about they just talk no. about their degree their credentials and by the way i have x amount of thousands and millions of dollars in debt so we want to pre prevent you from yes. any of that and that conversation and we just want you to talk about just your degree not your debt yes um so with this dark side do we get into the the business do we spill the tea a little bit Oh, we do. <laughs> I definitely do. Um, and I will show you some hidden secrets, some ways that you can cut cost up front and walk you through processes to work with your students and talk about what it looks like and how do you really assess different campuses or programs or how do you not 
let your kids do the wrongs and make those mistakes and have those pain points that we've all experienced and had to learn the hard way. Mm -hmm. Um, For me personally, one of my hard lessons was when I was in high school, I was told once that trade schools were for the kids that Mm. just weren't smart enough for college. So I never considered them. I never thought twice about considering a trade program. And it wasn't until I was in my late 20s that I found out I was so wrong. There was tons of opportunities in different ways. I just never thought to look into it because of that negative stigma. And so that's going to be something we get into too. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm thrilled you brought off trade schools. That was actually one of the questions I had here. So thanks for doing that. I I have a, a bunch of family members and people that are involved in some professional trades and their college journey doesn't really match match that it doesn't really you know coincide with what they do now i'm sure there could have been a couple Mm -hmm. years and a couple uh tens of thousands of dollars you know taken off their and then some yeah and then some taken off their plate if they had just pursued trade school from the beginning yes one of the things i hear so much hector is um with that if trades was you know right for my student my son my daughter why wouldn't the college tell them this or why wouldn't they say their career advisors or their academic advisors give them that guidance. Well, it's because at the end of the day, it's a business. Mm -hmm. They make money on your student. Mm -hmm. They don't want your student to go somewhere else. Even if it is the best option for them, they are not going to tell your kid this. Your kid needs to be equipped ahead of time. So that's some of the stuff we'll get into too. Yeah. The best option is the most expensive one. Absolutely. If they're (laughs) making money on them. Absolutely. Right. Right. Um, I have this weird term, student talents. And I want to know what you have to say about that because there are students out there that are student athletes um, yeah. involved in art, involved in musicals or plays or in all sorts of stuff. Yes. Do you have any experience in prepping students for college that are student that I call yes, student talents? Absolutely. And Hector, all kids are talented. <laughs> yes. And as a parent, we believe our kids are the most talented in whatever area they have flourished yes, in, right? Yes. So yes, all kids are talented. And I have an individualized program that I also teach on the side, separate from our podcast here. Mm-hmm. That's a college planning um, boot camp program. Mm-hmm. And it does really dig into those individualized talents. Nice. But if you're just joining us and you want to just gain some knowledge and a broad perspective yeah. through the podcast, I will also go through what are some of the things, timelines you might need to be mindful of. Yeah. Um, do they need to submit auditions? Hmm. Why, if they're given the option to submit an audition, should they send it in versus do one in person? Yeah. Which one's a better option for them? based on what school they're looking into. So we'll get into all of that. And we will also touch base on kind of going over an overview of there's a different timeline. Um, so NCAA applicants, that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. the process for the college recruitment stuff mm-hmm. for athletics, it's very different. Yeah. So I will touch a little bit into that. And then I'll also be sending and having extra bonus content for you for those parents that those particular areas and focus yeah, yeah. pertain to them to get like really specific to, you know, whoever's listening out there. Um, Where am I? Oh, I'm right here. Who is this podcast for? I know you've talked a couple times. You mentioned students, parents, teachers, principals, schools. Who are, who's primarily going to get the most out of this? Obviously, hopefully everyone listens, but who are you going to be primarily speaking to? Oh, this is for parents, guys. This is for you. (laughs) I mean, yes, students, you're totally, you're completely welcome to listen. And I know you'll gain some too and gain value and knowledge from listening, but this is for parents. This is the guiding voice behind you that's, you know, been giving you worries, like how do I pay for college for my kid? Um, You know, it's that voice that's gonna help answer those questions of, will my son or daughter know how to choose the right program or school? And, you know, how do I have a conversation with them when I get one word answers and I find, forms and timelines that needed to be filled out in their backpacks that's been crammed and crumpled in the bottom of them for months and are well overdue like uh uh-huh that was me what do i do now it's all of those things we'll go through yeah yes that's i'm glad you you clarified that because you know all of us know someone if we weren't ourselves (laughs) yes exactly exactly um it's right now at the time of recording this it's summer it is so summer means college visits yes are we going to yes, get into college visits? This is a little bit more of a specific topic, but... Yes, it is. And we will absolutely get into college visits. Um, 
And that is one of my favorite areas. Yeah. I have personally gone to over 300 campuses and tours. Wow. And so we will have a two-part series coming up. Maybe episode one. Maybe. What do you think? I think that could be a really good idea. I think so too. Kick it off with college yeah. visits. It's always exciting. I mean, it is. Co- college visits are like going, being a part of a movie. You know, yes, it the is. way they, the way they, uh, um, tailor you into taking you around the campus and showing you all these things. They show seems... you all the beautiful things. Yeah. What I'm going to teach you guys is how to see the other side. Oh boy. What else do you need to know? How do you do it? What's the strategy? And I'm sorry, guys, when your student tells you, oh, I don't need to look and do campus tours or I just show up, that's not true. Mm. There is intentionality and there's prep work that goes to it. And yeah. there are questions that really do need to get asked. And there's some research behind the scenes that need to get done beforehand. So mm-hmm. we'll get into all of those. Nice. I'm excited for yeah. that. I am too. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, you mentioned a couple times your college prep program. Oh, yes. Tell us a little about that. Yeah, it is an individualized program where I work specifically with the student in a two-week timeline and go through... Sort of like a coach? Huh? Like a coach? Like a coach, absolutely. And I work with them to start to finish everything from applications to identifying schools to should you consider and how do you know is a trade the best for you? Mm -hmm. Um, What learning environments are your students, your kids, what are they going to thrive in? And as a parent myself, um, one of the most horrific stats I think I have ever heard and have yet to prove wrong is 80% of students chose their college based on their friends. Oh, no. So how well do you like their friends? Because they're choosing the largest financial decision your kid may make in their life. Yeah. 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 So we'll get into all of that. Yeah, and that's that, what my program really digs into. Yeah, that the I wish I was a part of your program. I um, I would gladly take you. I'm, I'm sure we're <laughs> going to get more into my story and your story. Yes. And maybe we'll have some other people's stories on the show. But yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, I think this is going to, this is a great way to stop. Great place to stop for episode yeah. one. Um, we're going to get into all of these things and more. We just want to thank you so much for joining us on the very first episode of Cutthroat College Planning. Now, remember, this 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 podcast is not just for students. It's not just for teachers. It's primarily for parents. Parents, we want to let you know that you don't have to do this alone. You don't. You don't have to to worry about your your students or your kids as soon as you send them off to college that you could have you can be confident over the course of years that you've been listening to this podcast and prepping your students and giving them extra resources to get them ready for life after high school. Absolutely. We want to make sure that you guys have access to us as well. So put in the comments, uh, email us, let us know where you are at your journey. If you're a parent, if you're a student, and we just want to thank you so much again for joining us on Cutthroat College Planning episode one.